Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, it is Fed Day. Two o'clock, we will get the uh, most recent from the Fed. Bernanke's last meeting. You got a new Fed chair coming in. I don't know. You know, I, I'd be really surprised if they did anything major. Um, you know, they risk doing it. If they did anything significant, they would risk really destabilizing this market. I mean, look at these candles for the last two days. Up yesterday, came up into the red line there, the 50-day exponential moving average, and then in this double fib area we've been talking about, and they just rejected it for, you know, 25, 27 handles down to the the yellow line, the 100-day exponential moving average, and we just made a low uh, 68.75. So not quite the 67s from Monday, but 68.75. So where do we go from here? You know, I got to be honest with you guys. I've had a really good week. And I had a really good week last week. I'm not messing with this right now. I'm really not. Since I since I was not around uh, to short up here, I'm not going to play around down here. I'm really not. I may do a small long after the open, but I'm really going to wait and see where, where the Fed takes us. This is very volatile action. I mean, these last two range days are, are gigantic days. And the reality of it is, Unless you're in for the move, okay, like the 40 handles the other day, we were there for the move. Um, if you're not there for the move, right now, um, you know, there's a lot of people in buying this, and I get that. And you can do it. I mean, you just have to have a stop. you got to be smart. Um, but I really want to wait for the regular trading hours to open. I want to see what the morning brings. And then, you know, we've got... Uh, we got the Fed this afternoon, and that'll be enough volatility for everybody. So right now, um, I'm just kind of letting this trade. I'm watching it. I want to see if we start making a series of lower highs or a series of higher lows, okay? Um, and that's going to be important. And right now, it's very confusing in that we made a lower high versus yesterday, but we made a higher low versus Monday. So... Um, you know, at this point here, we're probably going to bounce a little bit into the open and beyond, but then I want to see what happens. What's that next high going to look like? And that next push down, is that going to make a lower low? So it's it's the next move that's going to tell us a story as far as how the rest of the day goes. So just be careful, okay? Watch your risk. Control your size. We're trading in very big moves right now, and, you know, these are the times where... You know, you can be chasing something, you're upset about missing something, you chase it, and you can really get on the wrong end of a move. So, uh, and we'll see what the Fed, Fed does it too, and we'll see where we end up going into tomorrow. Okay, have a great day. Follow me on Twitter. Follow, uh, follow the website. Come check out the chat room. Uh, we'll be trading the Fed today. And uh, I will check everybody out tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well.